So you're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you, right? All right. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. May seem hard to believe, but these chiseled good looks have seen a whole lot of ugly. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. About twenty-some-odd years ago, Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the Deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, I was sent to hell and back, and then back again. And again. But enough about that. Let's talk some more about me. Like, for example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. Welcome, true believers, to another chilling episode of Mysteries of the Occult. I'm Trisha Pettywood, your guide into the realms of shadow and the arcane. Joining me tonight is parapsychologist and best-selling author, Professor Alex Eldridge, author of the critically acclaimed Necronomicon. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Trisha. It's truly an honor to be here in the very town where my late colleague, Professor Noby, began his career. <laughs> oh, the honor is all mine. Your brilliant modern translation of this ancient text has set the world on fire. I'm told there's even a film in the works. <clears throat> oh, please. That hack wouldn't know the real Necronomicon from a roll of extra fluffy two-ply. Here, this one's on me. I'm awful sorry about Jenny. Tonight would have been ten years, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up, Chief. You're a real pal for throwing some margarita salt on the wound there. Perhaps you'd like to poke me in the eye with an umbrella and straw while you're at it. And what local Dearborn man that claims the Necronomicon has the power to raise the dead, or even travel interdimensionally through time? While it's easy to get caught up in the mythology behind the book, I'm afraid that sort of thing is just the sad, depraved ramblings of a lunatic. The real power of the Necronomicon lies not in the incantations, but in the poetry. Do you hear that? The guy called me a lunatic. Can you believe that? You want to see a lunatic, buddy? Why don't you come on down here and I'll show you a whole bottle full of lunatics. Oh, absolutely fascinating, Professor. We may never know what really happened in that cabin in the woods, but perhaps tonight we can finally shed some light on this famous local mystery. There I was, face to face with the mother of all ugly. So I say, come get some and blam, no more Mr. Nasty Face. Thanks to my investigative work into the Noby case, I've managed to uncover this amazing piece of evidence. Here in my hand is the last known tape of Professor Noby, recorded the very night of his disappearance. But then it went bad. My hand, my own hand, it grabs the knife and I... In a Mysteries of the Occult exclusive, we're going to play the tape live in studio. Huh? Oh, I can hardly no. wait. Wait? What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that... Taste dropper. Mantos Nosferatus. Make mine a double. 